pick a flavor, I would prefer it being apple. I think it's confusing though because there's Granny Smith and there's Red Delicious. Like, I, yeah, but green when I think apple, of apple, I think of red. But, I don't think of green. I, yeah, that's a good point. I think of a red apple. Not I think a green of green because I like green better. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's, but that's, yeah, well, that's that's me. Uh, well, I feel like lime's the flavor, though, dude. No, lime is the flavor. I automatically dis- dislike you because I'm, I'm a big Skittles fan. Yeah. yeah. And there was a big controversy in the Skittles world where... Yeah, like, some sp- Skittles beef. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we're not talking about the beef-flavored Skittles. That's that right. We're a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does the beef-flavored Skittles? Oh, no. I don't want to go into it, Max. Because <laughs> um, it doesn't exist. That's right. <laughs> uh, but, like, they originally green was uh, lime. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, they just changed it to apple and didn't tell anybody. It was like... Mm. And like then they thought we wouldn't realize. We like they thought the Skittle universe would not know this. And even though I eat Skittles by pouring the whole packet into my mouth, I could taste the difference. <laughs> you, you, could taste, you could taste that apple flavor. Yeah, like, right. nah. You know what I taste? Sugar. I, I, taste. I could taste granny of the Smith variety and I did not like, like it. Well, look, to each their own. So okay. we say lime, you say green. There we yeah. go. All right, next one. What's the worst job you've ever had? Worst job? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I think, I think I, the worst job I ever had was a gifts and collectibles place. Mm-hmm. Not because of the work. Because of the name of the job. It was called That's Hot. Oh, I remember oh, you were. Yeah. There. I hate it. It's like, where do you work? Uh, it's just a. I, I don't say I work at That's Hot in the in the shopping center. I say, oh, I work at a Gibson Collectibles place because nobody even wants to say, oh, look at That's Hot. Especially around that peak Paris Hilton time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Exactly. And did you sell any Paris Hilton paraphernalia? No, at all. No? No. no Zero. Like handbags. Zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 You had to ask Marcus <laughs> and you had to meet you in the garbage area. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It was, it was on VCR, like yeah. v- uh, VHS. I got a bootleg. It's been ripped so many times you can barely see it. But it's there. You can barely make out a nipple. This is Marcus and his night vision work with his uh, experimental film. Yeah. Paris Hilton's night vision. Yeah, exactly. Did they have the scene where they show a beef skittle? <laughs> oh, come on. That's it's hot, hey. Tom, uh, what is your worst I job? I haven't had many jobs that I would like that I didn't enjoy. Yeah, I can, it it can be, even be an element of a job that you didn't like. Yeah, see, I just didn't like the name of my I would job. Say I, didn't, I, I would say my McDonald's job would be my least favorite job. Yeah, okay. But, wow. um, purely because I didn't like doing wash up. <laughs> but guess who did wash up when they worked with me? Marcus. Marcus was my wash up yeah. guy, and I loved it. I, I loved loved cleaning that grime. I didn't have to talk about it. Just just spraying with the grease hose. up everything. It was fun. I didn't great. like getting wet. And like Marcus would walk out drenched <laughs> in, in like, and hot the, water. And the first part was, I was like, "Hey Tom, I'm coming home with you." <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Right. He just in my car, <laughs> drenched, I smelling like wet dog. Yeah, I didn't like doing wash up at McDonald's. So yeah. It's just too greasy and well, too. The fancy name for that is a porcelain technician. If you, ever, if you ever need to Mark, phrase it a different way. Looking at Marcus, like, glazed nicely. Yeah, yes. was what was yours? Uh, if I had to, like, make it pertain to my current job, which is, like, the TV industry, yeah. the worst job I had when I was, like, just a spring chicken many moons ago, one of the first jobs I ever worked on was a TV show. Yeah. Uh, and it wasn't because of the people were there to love it except for one person, and I would, don't know the answer of why this happened to this day, I got the position through a friend Mm -hmm. and for some reason from the moment I got there, one of the lead actresses was staring daggers at me the whole time. So imagine Marcus is the camera and she's doing her lines and as soon as I yell cut, Whoa. Her head would just turn immediately to me, wow. and wouldn't uh, maybe because like I guess when you work on a TV maybe, show, maybe she found you hot. Maybe she thought uh, you were Jason Schwartzman. I mean, yeah, she was, like, did you like it, Jason? <laughs> yeah, maybe she confused me. Let for, Wes Anderson know that yeah. I'm, I'm available. This in person September. was much older than me, okay. but I felt really uncomfortable because like I get some like TV crews, you kind of like a close family, you know everybody because you work yeah. on the show all the time, right? Yeah, yeah. So maybe it was because she didn't recognize me, but okay. there were multiple times where I saw her speaking to producers and stuff while looking at me, <laughs> and her eyes it's like doing like the th- yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Dude, like, I felt so uncomfortable wow. that, like, after four hours, I, l- I said I had a family emergency and I left. Wow. Because I just didn't, like, I was like, I just need to get out of here. Is she an like actress it. that we would know? Uh, she has been in some big films, but I'm not going to list who this person Ooh, is. That's a beef yeah, skittle, right? Juicy. Yeah, like, juicy. That is a beef skittle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got some beef skittles. Um, so I like I I just left and I just didn't return to the production because I right. felt so uncomfortable. Uh, he, just goes, he goes to that production. That was it. I yeah. was very green. I was like in my teens at the time, so that's why I decided not to confront Lime that green person. Or apple green. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, move on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. The zom- okay. Next one. The zombie apocalypse is coming. Who are three people you want in your team? So you only have you can only pick three people. People I know. Yes. <laughs> that was in my mates. People I know. You can't they- pick like Van Damme. You have to pick. <laughs> Three people. I want an Arnold Schwarzenegger. I need your quick list. There's only one van, and it's Van Diesel. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> He's the only van on my side. Yeah. Three and quickly one. Wait, wait, wait. Out of our friends? Anybody you know. All right. I can give you mine. Yeah. Because I wrote the question. So Let's I, yeah, yeah. I picked my brother yeah. because he's he was a mechanic and yeah. he's jacked. So I feel like he's got okay. the muscle. He can fix things. Yeah. Yep. I picked my mum because she can make 
food out of anything. Okay. You give her a piece of wood and some salt and she'll make the best thing you've ever <laughs> yeah, eaten in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, of course, I'll pick my, my lovely fiancé. Yeah. Because oh. we're going to have to repopulate the earth eventually. It's yeah. true. And she's the love of my life. Yeah, so, so, but it's pretty much all your family and your fiancé. Yes. Yeah. And you've got to repopulate the, the planet. The map yeah. does not make out. It'll, it'll be fine, Marcus. It'll be fine. <laughs> you get busy with a zombie. You get right. busy with a zombie. <laughs> I'll get down with the undead. I don't care. I will say, I will take... Um, well, I think there's... Well, who? Our friend. Yes. Yeah, because he's a carpenter slash handyman slash okay. do I think it the all. most resourceful person we both know is yeah. the same person. Yeah. So it's combined. So it's our, yeah. our neighbour. Our other neighbour. He's probably on our, on our side. Okay. Yeah. I would also pick my wife's cousin, who is a chef. Okay. okay. I feel like it'd be good to have like good food yeah. Yeah. in the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, it yeah. would be. He's worked at some pretty good restaurants as well. I feel like I'd be eating, he would know like, how to find that like zombie I'd be meat. eating Michelin star food <laughs> during the zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And sure, I'll take my wife too. Oh, this is awful. I've now got a child <laughs> as well. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, well, I guess I won't take I won't take the chef. That seems like a luxury. I, I cannot wait to play this to Tom's kid in 18 years when they're growing up. <laughs> I've taken my wife's cousin yeah. and my wife left my baby. Yeah. You were uh, an afterthought. Okay, cool. Marcus, uh, you got two other people? Yeah, well, the friend, my fiance is yeah. easy, and then Tom's one of my baby because it was left behind. Yeah. There we go. Marcus is going along. That's very noble of you. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I, right. I, bring, I bring one of my brothers because, you know, I need someone like, like, I would bring one of you guys Ooh. as well. Like, it's, it's too fine. hard. It's fine. It's too fucking hard. We can hard. move on. We can move on. I don't on. like this question, Damien. Next question. Take it away. International vacation or a new TV? Uh, how long's the vacation? Uh, let's say it's uh, three weeks. There was an OLED on sale today. I was very close to buying it. Well, I just recently purchased <laughs> Could the Could you TV? get a vacation with it? Um, no, I'd watch. Um, I'd probably watch Getaway on it. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, I'd take I take re- the TV because I want that. I want that OLED baby. Yeah, I I recently bought a TV, so vacation. All right, I'd probably go TV. TV. I feel like I think it lasts more. longer. Yes, I can accept that. It's true. You know what? Can I go back to TV? Nah, man. <laughs> this no, is TV's for all. <laughs> We're taking your TV away. Next yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. You have to wear a T-shirt with one word on it for a whole year. What word do you choose? Apple. <laughs> a T-shirt. It's the porn <laughs> era of the flavor. A T-shirt. Yeah, not, says- not, not the co- Actually, no, I don't want the company. Fuck that. Yeah, right. Yeah, people would just think you're a Steve I Jobs for, nerd. I, yeah, I work for Apple. Yeah. One word? Yes. Oh, geez. I was going to say, like, if I had to wear it every day as well, right? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say it's clean. Like, just so you know, it's clean. Maybe just clean. Yeah, clean. You can say it's my clean shirt. I say clean. This is my clean shirt. Yeah. Good Do you think I could get away if it just said Nike on there and just pretend <laughs> it's like a Nike shirt? <laughs> There's no tick. <laughs> yeah, no tick. How would I, they know? I, would, I would go umbrella. To be honest with you. Why? Why not? Okay, sure. All right, <laughs> next mean, question. I mean, it's just like why do you have an umbrella when you think it's why an umbrella not? term? A yeah. literal umbrella term. Yeah. Question six: Tomato sauce in the fridge or in the cupboard? <laughs> cupboard. Next question. <laughs> fridge. fridge. You're wrong. <laughs> Fuck you both. Fridge. I know it says it on the container. About room temperature, you want the, the cold with be. the hot. Shut the fuck up. You put that up. on a yeah. hot hot dog, and it's oh, it's bliss. Tom likes it for the flavor. I like it for the coldness. Yes, it gives it a crisp flavor. Mm. Tom's wrong. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, question seven: Would you rather wake up to an air horn blowing in your ear every day, or mm. wake up and have to run five kilometers every morning? <clears throat> five I'd kilometers. Run five kilometers for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, I don't want to become deaf. I already wake yeah, up. It would eventually. I wake up and go to the gym, so pretty much uh, I just have to give up my gym membership. Yeah, yeah. And the I wor- don't need to worry about the air horn. See, the worst part is though, once you're like in your seventies, you would still have to go oh. and run five k's no, every morning. Wait, so you'd be, be deaf in your for life. You'd be deaf in your forties. And what, even the air horn? Yes. Okay, yeah, running. I so. have more time as I get older, so if, I, if I'm if i not in the 5K... Even and like, if it takes you eight hours to get it done. If it's going to take me 20 minutes... You said fine. run, I could just walk it. True. It's true. Um, it's... With someone with tinnitus, I definitely considered just getting the air horn because my like, ears are already... The damage is done. Yeah. Okay. So but I'd probably run. Even. Uh, question eight. What is the most embarrassing thing you've done on a date? Hmm. <laughs> can you, can you right, think yeah, of something? I went, yeah. I went to the toilet twice in like the space of 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll explain. Did you get it all out? Yeah, no, I'll explain. It was with my actual Please, current fiance. With yeah, the least amount of details <laughs> yeah, possible. Yeah, 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 no, try to try to censor yourself. It was the first date too. I don't oh, know. Why, wow. I, don't know why, I don't know why she stayed with me oh. for so long. Wait, well, is this your current partner? Yeah, yeah, fiance. Okay. Yeah. Now I went. I had to go to the toilet. Need to do numero due. Yes. But the cubicles were all full. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I could probably hold on. I'll just you know do number ones. And I'm go glad out. you didn't resort to pooping in a urinal. Yep. <laughs> uh, went upstairs. Wait ten minutes. I was like, this can't wait. I was getting the sweats. No, I was like, no, this can't so wait. Bad. I was like, I'll be back. I, I really, yeah, I'll, go, I'll be back. Yeah. Went, did my number twos, came back. She brings this up to this day still. It's like, yeah, you went to the toilet twice. Yeah, yeah that's wow. amazing. It's like, you're like, I gotta put my best foot forward and, yeah. Uh, my body is fighting me. <laughs> yeah, my, I was sweating. Yeah, I was like, this, this dude, is bad. You gotta do do what you gotta do do. Mm. How about you, Tom? I don't know. I can't really think of it embarrassing myself in any way. <laughs> now, Tom's just perfect
We went out to a restaurant, very lovely evening. Uh, left the restaurant and realised I could not remember where I parked the car. Oh. And we spent the next two hours walking around, I believe it was Fitz- <laughs> Fitzroy. Oh, jeez. Unable to find the car. We got to know each other very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. But it went from being funny to this is not funny anymore because we were just wandering around. And it was in winter as well, so yeah. freezing our asses off. And it got so bad that I had to ring a friend and say, can you come pick us up and drive us around oh, boy. <laughs> the area to find a car? Did you me? I don't recall that. No, it wasn't call. you. It was, a, it was another friend. We've exhausted the search on foot. Yeah. We need wheels. Yeah, the search party. We could, not, we could walk no more. And that was one of the worst. And I felt so embarrassed. I apologize yeah. so much. Granted, she didn't remember either where I parked the car. So, but uh, just as much her fault. But it's my car. I should have remembered. I think the only thing I can think of is one time I went to the movies with um, my wife, their yeah. girlfriend, and it's all, it's all with that yeah, car right. and So, what this teaches you, yeah, like, yeah. I'll tell you, is you can live, you can live through the bad times. <laughs> yeah. But um, we were waiting for my mum to pick us up because we were younger, and this uh, guy started like basically started harassing us. Yeah. And he physically came up and started, like, shoving me. And I thought there was going to be, like... There was a bit of an altercation coming on. For no reason. My mum had pulled up right at the right time. (laughs) Yeah. And, like, we ran to the car. And as I got in the car, I just yelled out, Fuck you! (laughs) And and then mum was like, what happened? And, like, some guys, like, like, attacked us. Yeah. And we went straight to the police station to report it. (laughs) That's really funny. That's that's not too embarrassing. It's not too embarrassing, but I'm just like... It's not not needed to do anything. I'm just like the big man that's like, I am the man who will fight... I'm not like... Like Nick Cage yes. from fucking Con Air. No. It is funny taking like a triumphant stance after you run away in a, and you're yeah, about right. to get away. I showed sure him <laughs> while you're jumping into your mum's car. Uh, all right. Driven away. I'm going to put you guys on the, on the spot here. All right. Say something cool. Say something cool. Yes. Oh, man, that's, that is on the spot. <laughs> Fuck you. That's my. That's mine. You Thank miss, you. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Wow, Wayne that's Gretzky. wise. That's a quote. I also said that before. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, you missed your cool opportunity. Yeah. Oh, fuck Say you. Say something cool, Damien. Uh, it's illegal to own one guinea pig in Switzerland. That's that's not cool. It's just a fun fact. That's, yeah. oh, that's a fun. fact. Learning's oh, cool. Hold on. <laughs> He was giving me shit because I love tax law. What the fuck was that? <laughs> he knows sweet law. <laughs> I know sweet law. All I know right. guinea pig law. All all right. Right. It's okay, true, though. Right. That's not that cool. That's but, right. Right. Fine, whatever. It's a tough question. <laughs> uh, next question. If you could push a button to make everyone in the world 7% happier, but would also place a, world, a worldwide ban on pizza, would you push it? No. Hmm, a worldwide ban. You didn't even think about that. No, I want pizza. <laughs> But you're telling me I can't eat pizza, uh, but everyone will be just that little bit more happier. Seven percent happier. Seven percent exactly. Yes. Yeah. Then no, no, that seven percent isn't worth my margarita. I'd, li- I'd like my loved ones and friends to feel happier. So yeah, I'd say I'd press. I'd press that button. There's more. There's more people in the I'd world. I'd probably than... argue that pizza would make me happier than seven yeah. percent. happiness. Would we lose ten percent of happiness from yes. pizza going? I'd be happier with the pizza. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Like if pizza, especially if you knew pizza existed and then it was outlawed. Ooh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't. T- it's like yeah, losing your vision. It's, like yeah, it's yeah. better off to never have it yeah, so than yeah, to lose. It, it was most other. Foods I could probably live with it. Yeah. Pizza, yeah. no. Imagine a world where, like cops walking past bakeries and be like watching people need that dough. Like that better not be That's getting quite into thin and yeah. flat. Yes. <laughs> and measure mm. the diameter, it's gotta be less than ten inch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, okay. What a cruel, cruel world. All right, next one. Milk in uh milk in the bowl before or after the cereal. 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 And, do you, and do you drink or throw out the leftover milk? Drink it out. I guzzle, dr- that, I dr- I guzzle that down. Guzzle that down. Give me that soggy because it's, it's, milk. It's mm-hmm. sweet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the sweet from it's the cereal. Milk. Yeah. I don't like a lot of milk in my cereal. <laughs> oh. I like a dry Are you a dry one? I like a dry one. Do you ever <laughs> did, 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 like, did you drink like oranges or water after it? Yeah, no. I, of course I do. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a drink. I'm not gonna. I'm not a monster. Do you, you ever do water in cereal? Uh, no, never. I'm not a monster. Yeah, yeah. Both are monsters. Well, the water in the cereal is in your tummy. Yeah, I know, but I'm not a monster. Yeah. All right. And last one. Yeah. This is a doozy. Ooh. If both of your fellow questionnaires were drowning and you could only save one, who would it be? <laughs> you know I, what? I'm not. I'm going to put it out here, right? Okay. I am not going to get offended if you let me sink to the bottom. <laughs> it's hard. I, I just want to hear your rationale behind okay, it. It's That's why I picked this question. I'll say on one hand, I've known Marcus longer my whole life. Yes. Yeah, just about my whole life. Yeah. Damien, you look lighter. <laughs> <laughs> I feel we could both survive. Yes. Um, if this was Mar- a Titanic, we could both probably sit on that door. But I will say Marcus. Yeah. Back to Marcus. This is like I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm keeping I'm guessing here. Imagine yeah. we're in the water right yeah, now. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm on the board. Um, Marcus, I do have some like life-saving skills. I did get my bronze star. So did I. Um, so that's great. Yeah. So I know how to like be in the recovery, like the floating position yeah. to be able to... We could, we, we could be like back the butt sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. yeah. Ass to ass. Ass to ass. So I, I think, Damien, I will reluctantly say, although I can't choose my favourite, 
Marcus seems like I should. Well, even though you were so, the best man at my wedding, uh, <laughs> it's like, it's uh, weird. I can be the best man's wedding, but apparently, not enough <laughs> <for> my- <laughs>